Hello there and welcome. We are looking at what to do if your aquarium is having an ammonia spike. Whether it's caused by being a new tank or whether it's caused by a sudden die off of a fish or whether it's caused by something else. I'm going to tell you and hopefully help you to see if we can fix this problem and save your livestock. The first thing you need to do is a water test. If you haven't done this already, please do a water test. Mainly you're testing for ammonia and nitrite. The next thing you need to do is assess the situation. Is your ammonia incredibly high? Is your nitrite incredibly high? Are the fish at the top or the bottom of the tank gasping for their lives? If this is the case, then the next thing you need to do is a large water change. Now you need to weigh up the options here. If you do a large water change, you may shock your fish and if you shock your fish, you may lose some. However, in the case of an ammonia spike, the chances are you're going to lose your fish anyway. So I'd recommend you do a minimum of a 50% water change. This is just to reduce the amount of ammonia in the easiest way possible. The next thing you should do is go to your aquarium shop and buy an ammonia reducer. These come in different brands, but basically what they do is they make ammonia and nitrite non-toxic. You need to have some of this because this will really, really help the recovery of your aquarium and it will really, really help the success of keeping your livestock alive. One that I personally use and I recommend is Seachem Prime, concentrated conditioner for marine and fresh water. As you can see, it removes chlorine and chloramine like a normal water conditioner, but it also detoxifies ammonia, nitrite and nitrate. And this is exactly what you want to do. It doesn't remove it from your aquarium, but it means that it doesn't hurt your fish. If you can't get hold of this, there's other brands. API do one called Ammo Lock. Ask the people at the store, they will help you. Add that to your aquarium, as well as doing a water change, and that will significantly increase the chance that your fish are going to survive. The next thing you want to do is just see what happens. Do your fish respond? A lot of these ammonia reducers, you can use quite a high dosage of them. So use the recommended dose. If nothing really happens within an hour or two, you keep losing fish, add some more. If that continues, do another water change. The aim of the game here is to reduce that ammonia and try and turn it into a non-toxic form. Basically what's happening is your fish are suffocating to death. The only thing you can do to help them is to get rid of that ammonia. If they survive for the next day, do another water test. See what the ammonia and nitrite is like. Hopefully it have been reduced quite a lot from the water changes. But your fish will continue to produce waste. So if your bacteria can't keep up, there will still be some toxic ammonia. So good luck. I hope this has been helpful. Please like or dislike this video depending on what you feel it deserves. And happy fish keeping.